you won't find anyone who is more concerned about child sexual exploitation than me. 20 years ago, I was working with children who were, had been through that horrendous experience of being groomed by gangs, raped, sexually assaulted, struggling to get access to justice, and was calling for mandatory reporting for child professionals who were involved in their case. And but you have forward... been raising this for a long time. You've done work on it for many, many years. But Suella Braverman actually accused Labour councils of turning a blind eye. Is she right? I, in, in the cases of Rochdale and Rotherham, the reports were clear that there were politicians and officers who didn't report, sometimes for fear of political correctness. And I think 20 years ago, 10 years ago, when the Rochdale convictions happened, everybody across the political spectrum accepted that that was the case and that we needed to put measures in place to deal with it. But I have to say the Home Secretary is an absolute, it is an absolute joke for her to turn up in the TV studios today talking about a willful blind eye, near complicit silence, talking about a lack of action. She's basically describing herself. The number of convictions for prosecutions has halved in the last four years and prosecutions has halved in the last four years for child sexual exploitation people are waiting nearly two years on average just to get to court if anybody could be accused of turning a blind eye to what is a very real problem in this country across all backgrounds and ethnicities it's the home secretary herself